Hi everyone, in this video I will be sharing with you one wonderful app that you can use for formative assessment. Not only that you can create assessment through this tool, it also gives you some opportunity to use AI to generate personalized uh, feedback to your students. Now the app is called Snorkel. You can see here it's snorkel.app and um, you, know, you can go through the features here if you want to. So what I need you to do is to sign up first and then log in. Once you log in to your account, if you realize that it's student and you are a teacher, you want to create activities, you need to change it to teacher on top here and you'll be able to see this uh, features here where you can create class and then activity. So similar to other application or website you just have to create a class first you can name it let's say class one right just name class create it and then you can assign activity to this class but before you assign of course you need to ask your students to register an account and then join them you can invite them using the code like this where they can just join your class first or if you don't want them to join beforehand you can immediately assign an activity you can create a new one you can from your library or from snorkel library if you go to snorkel library you will have a lot of uh, you know examples that you can go for from kindergarten up until even high school or grade 12 you can see some sample here now i'm going to go for uh, from from zero meaning i will create a new one just to let you see how it works so you can name the activity let's say activity one if, if you are using this for your class activity if you want to do it for assessment, you can call it in a different name. Now, after that, you will be able to choose the response type. How do you want students to respond? Is it whiteboarding recording where they need to scribble and explain things and record? Or only whiteboarding, no opportunity for them to record the voice? Or it could be audio only or writing. So depending which, uh, which one you like. Let's say I'm going, I'm going to go for this one, whiteboard recording. Then you can immediately put the question on the whiteboard itself. Let's say I'm going to put here, decide what is the best option when it comes to, uh, you know, using AI for writing. Give two points. For example, you want them to explain, but at the same time, write something on the whiteboard. So you can just put your instruction here. If you would like to add other things like images, whatever, go ahead right so i'm going to be done editing here the question will be here or you can also give instruction down here now based on the prompt given please write your response and explain verbally for example you can do that kind of instruction depending on how you want it now this is the wonderful part the ai feedback part you know uh, so you can generate from question let's say i'm going to generate from question here it will help you to kind of formulate, um, you know, your rubrics or your marking criteria. You, know, you can see here, if you like it, you can confirm. If you don't like it, you can edit it first. Then let's say I, I like this, right? Then you will see the, you know, the marking criteria here. You can even be more specific in the case like you can say like one point for what, two points for blah, blah, blah. So you can have your own marking scheme here. You can set the grade. Now, the AI feedback is usually auto approved. If you would like to do some manual approval, then you can turn on teacher approved, means you take a look at the feedback first before you allow it. In this case, I want to make it easier because I want students to get real time feedback without waiting for me. And then I can also see more options. I can change the default language if I want to, or I want to uh, show the correct answer, show the score, depending on your liking. Now I'm done, so I'm going to assign this to my class. I'm going to pick uh, class one just now. So class one just now, next. And then I can assign schedule if I want to. If I'm doing this in a class and don't want student to sign in, I want them to respond immediately. I can allow guest login or, or else you need to you know, you need to ask student to sign in first. Then uh, they can do it. So I'm going to sign now. Then I can go to activity. All right. So. What you need to do is you have to share it with your student so your student will join this using this code or uh, you can even share the QR code up here or you can try as a student. Let me try. I just want to show you how good is the feedback, right? So I'm going to start the response and let's say I'm going to do this now. 
So the best option when it comes to AI is to use it to check grammar. Um, I will use it to check grammar, but I will not be using it to replace my writing. So I'm going to scribble something here, and then I'm going to end. All right, so I'm, if I'm happy with this, I'm going to submit. Okay, so this is the one with the recording, where I think it's good if you have activities where they need to show the steps, like math questions or equation and everything. If you are doing maybe some explanation of how to use certain software or even selecting something, you can also allow this to be recorded so that student can practice. You know, it's very, very useful for language activities as well. What you can see here is the AI is going through all this feedback, not only in terms of my scribbling, but also my audio. You can see here, great start. You clearly stated your opinion that I should be used for grammar. So very accurate, you know, interpreting what I said. Can you explain why? So it's helping your learners to also understand that, you know, you're going to get better marks if you can explain more. You mentioned you won't use AI to repeat writing, but this needs more development. So how did that, that? So you see, the AI is really, really wonderful. It's very clever in giving you, um, you know, real feedback. It's not just some superficial feedback that is not meaningful. And you also get the scoring here, right? So try it out and um, you can try out with other activities from the library, from math, science, and, and so on. And you'll be amazed by the quality of the feedback generated by AI. Okay, all right, so that's all for this video. Happy trying.